traumatic plague that continues to haunt the country, gender-based violence and femicide, a constant threat to life. Single women, widows and children are the main targets. This young woman was allegedly attacked by well-known criminals in the village. Her attempts to fight to her life became a lifelong burden. The two guys came, a cousin of mine and his friend. They came to mark me and actually kill me and murder me because my cousin knows that I know him because he came previously and took my phone then left. But luckily I wake up when he was kicking the door and then I tried to defend myself, fighting with him using the acid that made me to get bent because they overpowered me. God is great. The psychological impact of her experience remains a huge challenge for the entire family. Then the acid, uh, I still carry it. Like I have it in my room and everything because they are still coming back even now. Even after I installed the Bakla process, they are still coming back. So I don't know what they want now. The time they came, they said they were coming for, they came for the fridge. The guy who was my cousin sold it. So I don't know, they are still coming to collect it or they are coming to kill me because the other one is in jail. They want them to come out. I, I, it's, it's painful because even my kids, we can't stay. We'd, every time we go out, we lock the bagla, we come in even during the day. And then round about five, we are indoors. And even my little one, when I clean, like in making up the bed, she will carry the pang and say, if I see the sky, I will kill her. So it's, it's very traumatic for all of us. The permanent scars of her skin are now a constant reminder of her ordeal. Her dream is to have constructive surgery and to pick up the pieces of her life. I can't accept it. I just can't. I'm, I'm still too young. I have dreams and dreams that involve my image, like my confidence, everything. So I... I I don't see myself like spending the rest of my life like this. So I just need help. As as painful as it is that you sleep and then you are fine. You have confidence in yourself, taking care of your body, going to the gym, and then you wake up the other day, you are now a charity case, like pleading for help. It's it's tearing me apart enough, but I don't have a choice. A lack of action is said to contribute in the high rate of lawlessness in the country. Because these perpetrators who are getting information that they've been, they've been raping and robbing people in this location and nothing is happening. It means that there is a lack inside of justice, there is a lack in the inside of police. As I am here as MEC, I am to con going to consult the MEC of police, Tatunata. I am going to also consult the MEC for health because Umbali, she, she really needs to go back in her original life. We are still in the middle of the battle against gender-based violence. Remember that this girl was trying to protect herself when these guys came to break in. She wouldn't know what they are coming in to do. She was thinking of being raped. She was thinking of being murdered. So she had to defend herself. But in that fight, she ended up being a victim. So it means we still have a lot to change the mind of a male person. The suspects will appear at the magistrate's court on the 26th of January. Dube says she is still getting threats from the alleged perpetrators. Kululeko Nyembi, CSAPC News, Tomo.